Hello guys. Today we are showing QField tool. We are using QField tool for which purpose? For only flashing of call come type of form. And it is not for all model or all brand. It is uh, supported some model and some brand. Example, you can flash your Vivo and uh, Lenovo Lava as well as uh, you can flash Macromax Qualcomm and Geo keypad phone also you can flash of Qualcomm type of brand tool okay so this is our QField tool now I want to delete the previous one and the latest one tool QField is a Qualcomm flash image loader tool now the latest version is 2.0.3.5 while you have download from Google, you will get the zip file. You can zip uh, use 7-zip as well as WinRAR for unzip that application or a file. Now, it's have a folder. Again, it's a zip file. And uh, extract again. It will make a folder that name. And the main application in also in zip file again you can extract click extract to qfill now you will get the qfill folder also now if you want to don't need any folder of that name so directly you can right click there and extract here you will get the application on that folder now your qfill is here double click there and click yes for launching your application so this is our QField application. Now I am deleting the previous one, all information here. While you have launching, you will get the, this one application from your Google of your QField tool. It has two mode, meta build mode and flat build mode. What is the purpose of meta build mode and flat build mode? The first one, it is when file tools, flat build mode, QCN backup restore. If you want to uh, error or your and you uh, network problem, so you can directly backup your QCN backup restore and you can directly browse and make a backup of that phone of QCN file on that model. Configuration Firehouse configuration. You can also Firehouse configuration as well for QField tool or manually you can change. Select board. There is you can getting the information about your phone com port you will get here showing here your com port qualcomm hs usb qd loader 908 port here and the select build type meta build and flat build what is the difference between meta build and flat build so meta build you can flash of qualcomm type of model also and flat build also qualcomm type but the difference between the flat build and meta build in meta build you can flash with content file only what is mean that content file so example i have a file so this is our f2202b file and extracting already so it have a contents so this contents name that is our contents file and the format of this type file is xml document so this file will need for the flashing of meta build type so how to upload the flash build meta build type in content file on tool so select meta build cdc content xml so this is your content xml file tab load load content and where you have a content file give the path there so i have a geo folder and the model is f220b and it's showing contents file so you can choose contents only file it's already uploaded your programmer file as well as raw program and patch file on your tool there's no need for the other file choosing on your this tool you can directly flash without with any content file if the content file available on the your flash file and you know already what is that uh, need of Qualcomm type of flash file so Qualcomm type of flash file basically we have to need a raw program patch file programmer file 
but here you can uh, if the present of contact file so you can directly take the content file and you can flash now our file is ready for flashing in this tool next you will directly connect and flash so how to connect your f220b so model f220b that is our geo keypad there's a nothing volume plus and minus but have a boot key that you have a personal and unique boot key for the connectivity of that model so f220b you can connect your phone the center key of the keypad up and down and connect it will make a port qualcomm hs usb key loader 9008 port on here okay so it is a way you can flash on metabill type thank you very much